This reading is from Mark chapter 16, verse 1 to 8. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go to anoint Jesus' body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb, and they asked each other, Who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter, he is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he has told you. He, trembling and bewildered, the woman went out and fled from the tomb. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. Amen. Thank you, Tom, for that reading. Good morning, everybody, and a special good morning on this Easter Sunday morning to all the boys and girls in our congregation. Boys and girls, we miss seeing you so much every week at Sunday School, but please know that your Sunday School teachers and I are thinking about you all, and we're praying for you and your families. Okay, I suppose some of you would have woken up this morning and maybe you might have got one of these or lots of these and you may have some traditions with your family um, finding Easter eggs out in the garden or around the house if it's pouring with rain as it usually is this time of year um, and it got me thinking why do we have Easter eggs, why do we have chocolate eggs at Easter time? And as I look into this one here, and you get very excited opening it up and you, you can smell the delicious chocolate and we open it up. And very often these eggs are hollow. And that got me thinking about the tomb, Jesus' tomb, um, on the morning that the ladies went to go to the tomb with their spices, because as Tom read, the tomb was empty and they found out this amazing news and it got me thinking why do we give eggs at Easter or what are some of the traditions so I had a little look and I tried to find out a few things about why we give eggs at Easter and what are they in relation to our Easter message now, as I say, we do have lots of Easter traditions. One of my family traditions, and I used to do this as a little girl, was to boil the eggs and we would paint them or use felt tip pens to decorate them. And then we would go up a big hill and roll them down. And although it seems like utter madness, it reminds us of the rolling away of the stone from Jesus' tomb. And that's a tradition that I do with my family nowadays. Um, and um, I was looking up some other facts about eggs and a long time ago, Christians in medieval Europe during Lent, they would stop eating meat and dairy products, including eggs. And during the time of Lent, they were remembering the 40 days that Jesus would have spent fasting and praying in the desert. So any eggs in their house had to be eaten. And this led to the tradition of eating pancakes on Shrove Tuesday, or as we sometimes call it, Pancake Tuesday. And so eggs after this day had to be preserved and eaten on Easter day or used for decorations. Um, some Orthodox Christians long ago often decorated their eggs totally red to symbolize the blood of Jesus Christ. And then in the early 19th century, a new tradition was created in Western Europe, the first chocolate Easter egg. And nowadays, more people stop eating chocolate during Lent. So eating a chocolate egg on Easter morning means the end of fasting and the stopping eating of the chocolate and the celebration of Jesus' resurrection. So there are some links that we have with our chocolate eggs to the resurrection. And as we look at this story, very early on that morning, some of the women went to the tomb and they were obviously heartbroken because a few days earlier, as we know in the, in the Easter story, Jesus had died on the cross and they were heartbroken, absolutely heartbroken. So they were doing their duty. They were going to the tomb. They were taking some spices to take care of Jesus's body. But as they walked to the tomb, they were talking about how they would roll the stone away because it was huge. It was really big. And they were probably worried about how they were going to do that. And maybe they might have needed some help on how they were going to get in. But when they got there, unbelievably, the stone had been rolled away and they slowly went into the tomb. 
And to their surprise, and they probably would have been scared, I know I would have been scared, they saw a young man dressed in white and he said, don't be afraid, Jesus has risen from the dead. He is not here, he is alive. Go and tell his friends that they'll see him again soon. Now, at the end of the passage that Tom read, the women were very scared. And of course they would have been scared, but also they would have been so excited and confused and thinking, my goodness, what is going on? Um, and just amazing, amazing news. And that is the reason we celebrate on Easter Sunday morning, because we know that Jesus is alive and he is with us every day. And Jesus died to take away our sin. And that's the most amazing and important thing that has ever happened, boys and girls. And the great news is he didn't stay in the tomb. He came alive again. Now, as we look at our eggs again as well, and we think of our hollow eggs, and that reminds us of the empty tomb. They do also have a long history as a symbol of new life. And for example, the picture of life hatching from an egg was particularly appealing to Christians long ago, as it reminded them, once again, of the rolling away of the stone in front of Christ's tomb. So like a little chick needs to hatch out of an egg to emerge, they have to break the eggshell. Jesus needed to break out of the boundaries of the tomb. So I want you to remember that, boys and girls, as you tuck into your Easter eggs, this Easter Sunday morning, and probably for the next few weeks, if you've got lots of them, that Jesus died for us, but he was brought back to life and he lives and he is with us every day. You know, if we say sorry to God for what we've done wrong and we believe that Jesus died to take away our sins, then we will go to be with him in heaven one day. And that's the amazing news that we have this Easter and every Easter. So let's start a new tradition that when we open our eggs and start tucking into them, we remember the tomb and how the stone was rolled away and that Jesus is with us. Boys and girls, have a wonderful Easter with your families. Um, enjoy this precious time together and uh, we'll hope to see you all very, very soon. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this Easter Sunday morning. Thank you that we can spend time with our families, Lord. But thank you that we have a wonderful message to bring to other people. We have a wonderful hope in you, Lord. Mm -hmm.